Small-scale inland aquaculture is an important supplier of low-cost nutrition, especially in rural areas. This training was organized for government extension and research officers, initially from eight countries in Africa and Asia Pacific. It is hoped that the knowledge and skills they acquire will trickle down to fish farmers in their respective countries. My name is uh, Ojo Kingsley. I'm from Nigeria. I'm in the fishery division of that um, secretariat. I have come here to have knowledge and transfer that knowledge to my people back home. My name is uh, Vincent Derere Kenya. I work for the government in Kenya. I'm an assistant director of fisheries. The reason why I was sent here by the, my government is to learn more about technologies, technologies that can improve the production of aquaculture systems in Kenya. I am Shiru Batimbosana from uh, the Ministry of uh, Fisheries in Fiji. I came here I also identified some of the problems which are left back in there in terms of uh, designing of uh, spawning tanks or, and also designing of uh, construction ponds. My name is Segla Bienvenue Tobiwazon. I come from the Republic of Benin. I work for the Department of Fisheries. The government of Japan has been helping us through JICA. So one of these help is my presence here. And I've been in deck and uh, many things that we have in at, as problem at home, I can see uh, some uh, beginning of solutions at deck here. The training also covered topics on biology, nutrition, health management, ecology, fish processing, engineering, socioeconomics, and business management. One of the biggest challenges in Kenya is that we have flow productive, low productivity in aquaculture systems in Kenya. So we are looking for a way of turning out to be, be this loud, to a situation where we have high production, even in small scale inland ponds that are owned by very poor farmers in their rural areas. My name is Nivanga Ochola and I'm from Zambia. I work for the Ministry of Fisheries and Livestock. One of the challenges uh, that the aquaculture sector faces is the unavailability of good quality seed. Now we have a problem with the low, low survival rate, and the high cost of feed. Benin has a gap of 150,000 metric tons every year of gap. So this gap has been filling up with uh, importation. But a country uh, cannot rely on importation forever. So we are developing programs now to empower fish farmers to increase their production. During this uh, 30 days, I have learned more about the freshwater uh, species and uh, feed nutrition, disease, and how to breathing. All these uh, people uh, work together, they discuss their problems, take decisions together. I find that very important. a student at home that has been old because of inbreeding. Through the lectures I've received at CIVDEC here, I see that even on small scale, people can choose blue stock and still get a better result instead of us bringing blue stock from outside the country with all the problems and complications this can bring. The main purpose for me to be here is to learn more technologies and see how these, uh, the, the, the Philippines, for example, have been able to have a high production based of Zrapia wherever they become number three, global. The experience is vast. Not to talk less when you go into genetics, you go into home construction. Many techniques, and many technologies, many knowledge and analysis. And with what we gain here, we can use that to teach our small scale farmers to see that they are able to, to formulate feeds for themselves. With this training that I've undertaken here, it means that there's an opportunity for the small scale fish farmers especially to actually benefit from the training that I've just undertaken. This kind of training, if anything, is what is required in developing countries like Zambia. We need to be hands-on if any meaningful development is to be achieved. I take this opportunity to thank uh, JICA for funding this system, for this course and for Civdeck 
for hosting us in, 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 in the Philippines. They have been good hosts, we are happy. This might be one time a life opportunity with the caliber of lecturers, the professors, the doctors, and they have that has been giving us lectures. It's uh, compared to none, they are wonderful people. Right from Japan to the Philippines. I'm really, really satisfied. I see that it's as if the training course was designed only for me because many species we have worked on uh, are species we are working on at home. I was very, very happy with the assistance of Dr. Ayer to give me some of the, of the composition of the materials that, that we have in our country. I would like to pass my sincere gratitude to JICA as well as SIPTEC and to the Japanese people and the Filipinos for having hosted us here for this period and to only promise them that these skills that they've imparted in me will not be in vain, but I will also strive to pass them on for the betterment of our people. This training is very important because I can learn from the that I meet with my country. So I hope that when I come back, I can get this uh, uh, technology, this experience to improve my activity. sort of motivation to go and assist my farmers to turn around the aquaculture systems.